What is up everyone? In this video, we're gonna take a look at Yan Fei. This is gonna be my first impression video. So let's get started with her builds, weapons, constellations, and talents. So I have my Yan Fei at level 80 out of 90. She's pyro, so I don't need to max her level. Here we go. Her stats looks like this. She had about roughly 1500 attack, 224 elemental mastery, 82% crit rate, 178% critical damage, and this is from Lost Prayer. So let me quickly reset that and show you her pyro damage bonus. She has 85% pyro damage bonus because her ascension stats is pyro damage bonus. That is always a good thing, and that means we can use her for DPS probably. But before anything, we're gonna have to take a look at Constellation's talents and see if it's worth. Best in slot weapon. Of course, if you use 5 star weapon, they have higher base attack. They usually have better options to do extra DPS. But I would like to say that Lost Prayer is pretty good. And Memory of Dust, you probably wonder why Memory of Dust was in the weapon banner. I'll explain about it when I'm talking about Constellation. So pretty much, I actually don't like Memory of Dust, but when you have to rotate characters, this is one of the best options you can have. Skyward Atlas, this is a solid DPS weapon. And let's move on to 4 star weapons. Solar Pearl, always good. It gives you crit rate. And then even at refinement rank 1, better than just random 3 star or random 4 star weapons. The Wit Sith, if you want to turn her into Pyro Child, then this is always a good option. It helps you do burst damage within that 10 seconds. But other than that, you would do mediocre damage and the downtime is 30 seconds. And there's also some RNG factors. So uh, based on R1 rank, you would either get 60% attack or 48% elemental damage bonus or your elemental mastery is going to be increased by 240. Because I think she needs to be used for DPS, I strongly discourage you to use anything that has energy charge because that wouldn't help you do much of damage. And usually, as small spender and F2P, it's going to be very hard for you to stack on some critical chance, critical damage. So for now, you can either make Prototype Amber, which gives you HP. Nope. This is not for her. Mapamare, however, it gives you elemental mastery. And it has an option like triggering an elemental reaction grants a 8% elemental damage bonus for 10 seconds. Max 2 stacks. So this is always one of those nice F2P weapon you can use. However, if you have Wit Sith, I would say use that instead. Just because it gives you critical damage. So you can just stack onto critical rates and then you're good to go. So in this video, I'm going to be comparing Lost Prayer to a Solar Pearl. I will not do those burst DPS showcase and I will try to show you all those overall damage with Lost Prayer, Skyward Atlas. Because I don't have this at level 90, this is not going to be so fair for Memory of Dust. But what I can tell you about it, you can probably look it up right here. I did some comparison between Memory of Dust and Lost Prayers when they were both at level 70 or 80 or something like that. But long story short, Lost Prayer is good when you have to keep one character in the battlefield for a long time. However, if you have rotations and if you have shield, Memory of Dust has a very good damage. So, Lost Pair, Skyward Atlas, Solar Pearl. That's what we're gonna look at. So, before we take a look at her skill description, let me explain one thing about Yanfei. She is specialized in charge attacks, and whenever she uses normal attack or use E or Q, she gets a stack of seals. So, what are seals? What are they for? Basically, if you have more seals, then you do more damage for charge attack. Each normal hit gives you one seal. You can get maximum of three seals. And when she uses E, she gets a max number of Scarlet Seals. And for her Q, she also gets the maximum number of Scarlet Seals. And then she gets the effect called Brilliance. This has following effects. Grants Yanfei a Scarlet Seal at fixed intervals. So she gets a free seal. So after you use Q, you should be able to do some auto attacks. And as soon as you get the maximum number of seals, you do charge attack and you would do a lot of damage. And increases the damage dealt by her charge attacks. Okay, that's always a good thing. And if you take a look at her Q, level 6. Skill damage is 255%. And Scarlet Seal Grant Interval is 1 second. So every 1 second, you get free seals. And Charge Attack Damage Bonus is 44% at level 6. Duration is 15 seconds. Cooldown is 20 seconds. Energy Cost is 80. So I suspect that it will be very hard for you to spam her Q. Her cooldown is too long. For her E Skill Damage is 237%. And cooldown is 9 seconds. So you can kind of see that like skill damage is not so much different E and Q. So I suspect that we're going to have to use her charge attacks to actually use her really well. All right. 
and we are gonna have to take a look at her passives. When Yanfei consumes seals by using charge attacks, each Scarlet Seals will increase Yanfei's pyro damage by 5%. Okay, so it said that your max number of seals you can get is 3, right? So from Proviso, after you use charge attacks, your pyro damage is going to be increased by 15%. Moving on to Blazing Eye. When Yanfei's charge attack deals a crit hit to opponents, she will deal an additional instance of AoE pyro damage equal to 80% of her attack. This damage counts as charge attack damage. I was wondering why this was here, but we're gonna talk about this when I tell you about the best in slot artifacts. And funny thing about Yanfei is that she is 4 star, but she also displays Liu's specialties on the minimap, just like Chi Chi. So Li shows the monster specialty, Chi Chi shows Liu specialties, but Yanfei 4 star and she has that. So this is always a good thing. And for the best in slot artifacts, I'm going for Crimson Witch set just because it's really hard to get a nice full set of Wonder set. So I went for Crimson Witch, expecting that because she's Pyra, I'm gonna be pairing her up with Sing Chu. Let's move on to Constellation just to see if it's really worth it for you to go for C6 or C1 or anything like that. C1. When Yanfei uses her charge attack, each existing Scarlet Seal additionally reduces the stamina cost of this charge attack by 10% and increases resistance against interruption during its release. So, if you had been using a lot of charge attacks with your characters, you'd notice that your character kind of stays in one spot for a split second, making it harder for you to dodge. So, this is always a bonus. If you don't have this, totally fine. You can still play this game. If you had been farming for maybe a couple of months, you should be able to cover this. C2 increases Yanfei's charge attack crit rate by 20% against enemies below 50% HP. I don't like this 50% HP thing, but if this is activated, then I would have 100% crit rate when I do charge attack with my Yanfei. So this is always a good thing, but there's a condition. Moving on to C4. When Dun Deal is used, this is her Q by the way, creates a shield that absorbs up to 45% of Yanfei's max HP for 15 seconds. This shield absorbs pyro damage to 50% more effectively. So, this is what I wanted to talk about. When she uses her Q, she gets this barrier, right? So that means she can also use Memory of Dust. She can utilize that. However, would that be stable? I don't think so. Uh, so keep that in mind. That wouldn't be the best weapon anyways. And C6. Increases the maximum number of Scarlet Seals by 1. This is going to change everything. This is going to be pretty good. Like, we have seen some talents that helps her do more damage. And then, you know, even from her title attacks, she does extra damage when there's more seals. But I kind of don't like this because from the constellation, it said that I would get one more Scarlet Seals, right? But what are these? What are What does this mean? I'm assuming they're doing charge attacks, and this is the number of Scarlet Seals. One, two, three, four, five. But don't we only get four? Why don't we take her to um, Hydro and Cryo domain? And because she's Pyro, it only makes sense for me to use Sing Chu. And Bennett is always a bonus. And Rosaria would help her get more energy. And she's going to provide Cryo when Sing Chu is not present. So that's going to be a good team. So we're going to do a comparison between Lost Prayer and Skyward Atlas. But keep that in mind that Lost Prayer gives you crit rate and Skyward Atlas gives you attack. That means I'm going to have to change her build and give her different artifacts. Right now I'm using critical damage. But if I switch from Lost Prayer to Atlas, then I'm going to have to give her critical rate circlet. That would probably lose me a lot of damage. But she's getting more attack percentage, so that would be a compensation. This is Lost Prayer. I'm going to be rotating a lot of characters, so Lost Prayer, I wouldn't get a lot of bonus. So... Okay, that guy's already dead. That was pretty quick. And because our mechanism is a little weird, I might not be able to uh, replicate this with a different weapon. But uh, pretty much, I wanted to do some rotation and after that, I started like spamming stuff. So I think this is a very solid team. Skyward Outlast has a 24% elemental damage bonus and normal attacks gives you a 50% chance to earn this cloud which follows the opponent and do 320% attack damage okay for 15 seconds so to be honest this is my first time using Skyward Outlast I leveled this to level 90 so that I can do a showcase for Yanfei just for you guys
you can kind of see that the resistance for interruption is really important over there. I'm definitely not using her well. It could have been so much better, it feels like, but that was okay, I would say. But I can pretty much see that Skyward Atlas is also something that you could use. I used to think that Skyward Atlas sucks, but it's usable. It's definitely usable. And lastly, we're gonna go ahead and use Solar Pearl. So, this is with Solar Pearl. So, for this weapon, if you do normal attacks, it increases elemental skills and elemental burst damage and vice versa. So if you use elemental skills or burst damage, then you do 20% normal attack. Okay, I totally did that on purpose. I wouldn't say, compared to those 5-star weapons, I did pretty well. It would be a scam if I said 5-star weapon is almost equivalent to Solar Pearl, but hey. One thing I would like to tell you about Yanfei is that I like her projectiles. Like, because Klee has a very slow projectiles and she had this weird aim, I just couldn't get used to her. And you had to use some charge attacks with her as well. But Yanfei, although she's built for charge attack, she has those right settings. She has those nice effects. So for example, you know, when you use a lot of charge attacks with her, each Scarlet Seal will decrease Yanfei's stamina consumption. Right, you have this option, so this is always a good thing. If Klee had this feature, then I would probably have really, really loved to use her all the time. But, yes. Why don't we move back to Lost Prayer and kind of work on her constellation and see if there's any change in her gameplay and see if I actually feel the difference. And of course, there will be a difference. But even for a boomer hands like me, would that be a big change? So, her first constellation. Resistance against interruption during its release. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Charge attack. Okay, I can see the drastic decrease in charge attack stamina consumption. This is a lot better. I mean, if the value for one Yanfei is the same, assuming that you have to be your small spender, I would say C1 is really great to have. So, let me move on to the second constellation. 20% extra crit rates against enemies below 50% HP. I like that. And then we're just gonna move on to the C3 right away and stop before C4. So my talent level for E has increased by 3 and my skill damage for E is actually higher than my Q. So I would like to say that 80% crit rate is pretty high, but if you attack something that is below 50% HP and if your crit rate is 100%, then it is guaranteed that you would get this effect, which makes her pretty good. Okay, you guys ready to see this? Okay, that was 100% crit rate, right? Because mage HP was below 50%. And this guy's HP is below 50% as well. Okay, I didn't have any stacks, no nothing, but hey. I actually just feels good. It just feels good. Great. Yanfei's new mechanism is really weird. Well, at least for me. Because you're gonna have to take care of all those, you know, stacks. 
and then you do charge attacks to do extra damage and that is just new for me so far i really like her mechanics and i think it's really fun but let's go ahead and move on to c4 so what I can do is probably just show you that after I use my Q, I get this barrier. And what I thought was lacking for her is that she needed some protection. And as a pyro character, you would like to go ham. That's what I would do. So this pyro barrier is going to help out a lot. Oh, I like this barrier effect. It looks pretty. So I feel a lot safer. And the barrier looks cool. And let's move on to C6. Extra claws increases the maximum number of scarlet seals by one you should be able to see a slight damage increase when i use yanpei so here we go so instead of three i can key four right three four all right that's always a good thing okay use my q Get those stacks. <laughs> I can't see the damage difference. Maybe I should have done the swirl thing. You know, that one shot build. Oh, <laughs> definitely getting one more seals. It also makes me feel better. Uh, difference in, in, difference in damage would be your charge attack. And then from Proviso, you get 5% extra pyro damage bonus. But just to make sure, I would like to do this again. Let, let's see if I would get a run that would kind of show you the significant difference in DPS or I don't know. Let me see. Let me try to do this. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Back attack. Use E. Try to attack again. Okay, one down. She, uh, this guy had the barrier, right? He should be dead. Okay, okay. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. But, oh, I don't know, man. I think it was pretty good. What do you guys think? Alright, so this is what I think about Yanpei. This is my honest review about her. So to be honest, at C0, I think she's just an average DPS. As we get C1, C2, C4, C6, every constellation would help you make Yanpei a lot better. Like all those constellations are on point. And I actually would like to use her more often in the future. Not just because of my friendship, but this is actually a solo character. If you don't have constellation, then you would probably suffer. You saw me like getting my charge attack interrupted here and there, and I really didn't like that. And also, the stamina consumption, that is always a problem. Is she worth it? C0, average DPS, it's good for small spenders and F2Ps. Like for me, for my F2P account, if I get Yanfei, I'll be very, very happy. But for those of you who has a lot of characters, Yanfei is not going to help you of his floors that you haven't cleared before. So that is my verdict. She's definitely fun to play. That is a totally new mechanism that we got introduced in Genshin Impact. So what do you think? Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section and let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed my video, consider changing your alert setting from recommended to all. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys next time. Adios.